This is the boss fight of JavaScript interview questions. What is the output? Let me break it down to you before we start pulling your hair out. JavaScript is single-threaded. That means it can only handle one thing at a time. And because of this, JavaScript first runs all the synchronous code, the straightforward stuff, before it even thinks about touching anything asynchronous. Check this out. If you think this will print start, end, one, two, congrats, you are wrong. The output is actually start, one, end, and then finally, two. Remember, the synchronous code runs first, then the asynchronous code. But hold on to your seats, about to get real. Promises and asynchronous functions don't run immediately. They get pushed to a mystical place called the event loop. Think of JavaScript like a traffic cop at a busy intersection. Sync code is like regular traffic, it goes first. But async, that's where it gets wild. Async tasks are split into two groups, micro tasks and macro tasks. Micro tasks are like ambulances or fire trucks. They have higher priority. Promise, object observers, mutation observers are all micro tasks. Meanwhile, macro tasks are like regular cars waiting for their turn. Macro tasks include set timeout, set interval, and XHR. Now watch this. Both the set timeout and promise get triggered. But which one runs first? Even though set timeout is literally at the top, it has lower priority since it's a macro task. So the promise jumps to the front of the line. The result, start, end, resolve, and then set timeout. Okay, so now that you're an expert in JavaScript's weird little quirks, let's answer the original question with this strategy. Step one, identify all the sync code. This stuff gets executed first. Step two, spot all the micro tasks. These bad boys go next. And finally, deal with the macro tasks. They patiently wait for their turn. In our original question, sync code runs first. Simple. Next, the micro tasks fire off. But wait, this is a trap set for you. Our promise is still pending, so nothing happens there yet. Then macro tasks take their turn. And finally, the event loop lets our micro tasks finish up. And there you have it, JavaScript async execution in all its chaotic glory. So the next time you are debugging an issue that makes no sense, remember, sync, micro task, macro tasks. Now go forth and conquer those interviews.